uh, Jalen, hey, congratulations. Um, you know, we talked yesterday or what, whatever day it was about this being Keith Smart's hometown. Uh, you know, how big of, how happy were you guys for him? Kind of what was his reaction like in the locker room? Did you guys throw some water or something on? What was the celebration like in the locker room? Um, yeah, so we, of course, we were energetic after a big win. We got in the locker room. Everybody, I walked in there. Everybody already had water bottles. I couldn't find one, so I just grabbed some Gatorade, and he walked in the locker room, and, you know, you know how that goes. So, yeah, it was it was a good win for Coach Smart and for the team, and just a really big win. And, you know, a lot of times you'll get the ball on the top of the key and kind of fake pump that three-pointer, but won't take it. But they left you open. Could you describe that three-pointer and just how it felt coming off your fingertips and – you know, that, that gave you guys the lead there. Yeah, um, coming out one of the timeouts, Coach Gus and Coach Smart told me, um, you're going to get a big, you're going to get open on the three-point line. Be confident, shoot the shot, you work on it. Just be confident and take that three. And I, I saw my opportunity, took the three, and, and it just felt good. So my teammates believed in me to take the shot, and so I just took it. And you guys were down by eight. It wasn't looking real good on the road, and then you finished on a 17-2 to two run. What, what do you think keyed that? Obviously, defense was really good. Um, really our defense. And I think that we're playing at a mindset right now where, like what Coach Smart says, everything to gain, nothing to lose. So we're already, everybody's already saying that we're at the bottom of the barrel, so we can only go up from here. So we might as well leave it all out on the court. Okay, I got a couple more if time allows, but I'll turn it back to Mike. Thank, thanks, Jalen. Hutch. Jalen, you Try to speak up a little bit. We've got a bad speaker over here. Jalen, you've been good at taking charges all season. Uh, what's kind of the key to that, and uh, what, what, why are you so good at that? Um, it's kind of just been something I've done my whole life, as young as I can remember. So I knew this team was a really aggressive team. There are a lot of drivers, a lot of uh, guys that like getting to the lane. So I knew if I was in a help position, I could – and I also guarded guys that weren't – I mean, they hit threes, but they weren't great shooters on the outside, so I could stay and help a lot more. But – me being able to stay and help and help my teammates, I just was always in a position to. And what did you think about Note's performance tonight? And I mean, he had to play with the last, I don't know how much long with, with four fouls. How did you think he managed that? Um, JD did really good. He always hits the big shots. I know he hit, um, I'm pretty sure he hit a big three and we called it, there was a commercial or a timeout and I went over to him. I said, now JD, every time that you go on, uh, you get a bucket or we go on a little run, you always reach and get a good little steal. I was like, we don't need that this game. We need you to stay in the game. Don't pick up that fifth foul. Just play solid defense. And he did. He did a great job managing his uh, fouls throughout that last 10, whatever minutes. Curtis. Hey, Jalen, when you guys did fall behind by eight there and, and called the timeout, there's been times this season where things have unraveled a little bit from there. What does it say about this group and, and the togetherness that you have right now and, and being able to battle back and get a win like this? Um, really, it's just the mindset I feel like we have now as a team is that we're at the bottom. Like we we went we started zero and three, so we can only go up from here. So there's nothing to lose. Might as well leave it out on the court, whatever it is, if that's offensive or defensively. So really, just for us, we we got down and we just kept fighting. And then that's the that's the third game in a row now. After you guys had some struggles on the glass, where you've controlled the boards, you were plus ten and and won the offensive rebounding. How much has that been an emphasis, and and how important was that today? Um, it's been a really big emphasis. I'm we're having uh, drills and practice where we're working on our offensive and defensive rebounding, and I'm pretty sure Stan had six rebounds, Devo had eight, and they did really good at rebounding uh, for the position. Scotty. Yeah, Jalen, just going back to JD for a minute, you guys were plus 18 when he was on the floor today. That's pretty incredible in a close game. Just how, how valuable has he been to you guys, and what have you thought about his, his play in conference so far? Um, JD has been playing really great. I, I talk to him all the time, and I tell him, like, JD, you're such a great player because you can create for everybody and anybody on the offensive end. Um, he's so good at offense. Guys are worried about him scoring. Then when guys are worried about him scoring, he creates shots for his teammates. So, JD's just been playing really great for us. He's been good on defensive end. He's been rebounding, uh, taking care of the ball, and JD's just been doing a really great job. Randy. Jalen, 30 points tonight in the paint. Was that a point in the – Randy, you're breaking, you're breaking up, Randy. All right, let's try it again. 
Jalen was a point of emphasis with 30 points in the paint was the emphasis on pounding the ball inside. Um, yes, for sure. That was one of our, our big things. And I feel like that's what we're good at as a team, especially with them being in foul trouble early. We knew that they had a lot of guys that didn't want to pick up extra fouls and guys that didn't want to pick up fouls in general. So we made sure that we kept taking it to the rack on them. Thank you. Troy Lynch. Hey, Jalen, I'm curious uh, how different the game felt without head coach Eric Musselman being there. Um, it wasn't that much different. Um, we, Coach Musk has a plan for us, and we just stuck with the plan. Of course, we had Coach Smart as the head coach tonight, and things were a little bit different, but we stayed on the same plan, same uh, game plan, and we just executed. Bob, this is a... Hey, uh, Jay, you know, Keith Smart's obviously been, you know, he's been an NBA head coach, just like, just like Eric, but what was Keith's demeanor like during the game? Was he pretty calm or just how, how did he handle things, did you think? Um, coach Smart was calm throughout the whole game. Um, he just kept telling us, like, it's okay, it's okay, keep pushing. Um, of course, that quote that I said that, that he's been talking to us ever since we got down here, but he just kept telling us, push, push. He never, he never got rattled. He never looked rattled. And I'm pretty sure, like, when we see him not rattled and just in confidence as us, then we look at each other and we got the confidence too. So we just kept going, and Coach Mar did a really good job tonight. You talk about you, know, you guys were at the bottom of the barrel. You're not anymore. You, you know, you've just obliterated Missouri, and you got a huge road win. So how, how do you feel like you guys are playing, and can you can you get on a roll? Do you, I mean, you're already sort of on a roll, but can you get on a, on a long roll like you did last season? Um, yeah, um, the team's really confident right now. We're all playing how we I think we should be playing. We're playing hard offensively and defensively. We're playing for each other, playing for the what's on the front of our jersey and not what's on the back. So I think that we just got to look forward to the next game and play just as hard, and I feel like we can get on a run. Did, did Eric talk to you guys like group te text or something or the video chat or anything like that after the game? Yeah, so after um, we, of course, threw all the water everywhere, um, Riley walked in there and he was like, hey, Coach Muss on the phone. He turned the phone and looked at us, and Coach Muss is just there yelling. The phone was breaking up because it was bad service in the locker room, but Coach Muss was on the phone, and we was like, Coach Muss, break it down. And, of course, he said family, then we couldn't hear a 3-2-1 because the phone was uh, disconnecting. But, yeah, he was on the phone after the game. Okay, cool. Th thank you. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Bye.